Welcome back, it's me, Lou. I'm here for another action figure review and unboxing. Today, we are looking at this. This is from the Netflix He-Man and the Masters of the Universe toy line. It's Skeletor with Painthor. <laughs> okay, so I saw this at Walmart yesterday and I could not resist buying it. Um, they actually had both vehicles. They had um, He-Man and his motorbike and then they had Skeletor. Um, at first, um, I told myself I can't buy both of these now. I'm just going to buy one of them. And this, the Walmart I was at, they only had one of each. So I'm like, okay, at the very least, let's get He-Man and his motorbike. And then um, I went back. I, I was doing some grocery shopping. So then after I got my groceries and the He-Man and paid for it, I went back to my car, unloaded the groceries, and then I sat in my car for like a minute thinking, you know what, I should just really cave in and get that Skeletor. Um, because knowing where I live, it's, it's hard to find some things. It's a very competitive um, market where I live. Lots of collectors. And I knew if I passed up on the Skeletor, uh, chances are I wouldn't see it again. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm like, all right, let's just bite the bullet. Let's go back and let's buy the Skeletor. So I did, and I don't regret it one bit. I think this is a very, very fun toy. Um, it, uh, all right, so if you grew up during like the 80s or 90s, 90s especially, uh, we saw this a lot with the company Toy Biz. For whatever reason, especially with superheroes, they always felt the need to make a motorcycle that came with a superhero. You know, we got like Wolverine with a motorcycle, we got Spider Man with a motorcycle, Captain America with a motorcycle, Batman with a motorcycle. Uh, you get the point. For whatever reason, um, toy companies believe that kids love playing with action figures and motorcycles. And, you know, the truth is, <laughs> we probably do. Um, even as an adult, uh, anytime I see like a, a, an action figure with a motorcycle, for some reason, I'm just like inclined to get it. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, I was not able to get the Target exclusive G.I. Joe um, motorcycle that came with Br uh, Breaker. And I don't know, but I did manage to get this Skeletor with Painthor. And it's such a fun name, Painthor. You know, it's kind of like a play on um, his steed, Panthor. But this is cool. This is Skeletor on a, on a motorcycle. Um, it's a repaint of the single release figure. And I'm pretty excited to check this out, and I hope that you are too. Uh, so let's get to it. Um, so when you see something like this in the store, um, it's very easy for like an older, jaded collector to like scoff at this and just like turn their nose to it and not care. Uh, but this is not meant for the collect, like the older collector. It's not even meant for collectors. Something like this is meant for kids. You know, it's recommended for ages four and up. Um, this is packaged in an open air package, meaning it's meant to be handled at the store so you can actually feel it and check it out. Um, it has a lot of play value to it. Um, and it, it, you, so uh, you go roll into battle. And here's a picture of Skeletor on his crazy motorcycle. Um, you can store the battle accessories, which is always a plus in my opinion. So it looks like you can store his staff. In the back of the bike, um, Skeletor, just like the single card release, has the power attack. Uh, he's spring-loaded in the torso and in the arm. And here we have He-Man. I'm going to review this also. I'm very excited to check this out. Alright, so let's get started. I don't know where to begin when it comes to opening something like this. Um, so let's... All right, so I'm cutting off some of these ties. And he's coming loose a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm I'm pretty excited. This is a this is a pretty neat toy. I'm glad I went back for it. Um And then let's, all right, so if you get this, don't forget his staff is packaged in the back of the packaging. Um, uh, all 
All right, so we have the Pain Thor. Um, uh, Skeletor's personal ride. All right, so first up, let's take a look at the motorcycle. Um, we've seen Skeletor before. We'll set him aside. And let's get down to business. <laughs> okay, so this is a really, really wild looking vehicle. Um, just check out the profile. Has a really long extended fork. Um, there's kind of like the likeness of Panthor sculpted in the front of the bike. There's some claws here. Um, they're made of a soft rubber and they look like they don't move or do anything. They're just there. I was kind of hoping that this would have like maybe like a play feature, like maybe a rip cord and you'd pull it much like the old Road Ripper, but alas, there's nothing of the sort. Um, nice clean details. Um, now, I understand this is a budget toy. I played, I think I paid $19 for this, but part of me would have liked to see it a little bit more in terms of the paint application. Um, because it looks like there's a lot of room to make this look a lot better than what it is. Like, I think it looks nice as it is, but, you know, it seems like with a little bit of silver or chrome, you can really bring out the details. It looks nice. And one thing I'm curious about also is that I'm looking at the underbelly of the bike, and there's a small notch there and a small notch here. I'm kind of, I'm kind of wondering if this maybe initially had maybe a kickstand or something, but maybe they just, at the, in the end they just omitted it. So here's a profile, here's the side view, beautiful looking motorcycle. Here's the other side of it. Uh, here's the front. Um, the handlebars are, now this is cool, so the handlebars can actually move. So what I'm guessing is that if you have like a Masters of the Universe Origins figure, chances are you could probably put the figure on here and adjust the handlebars to accommodate the grip of the figure. Really nice. Um, the box mentioned weapon storage. There's a big giant empty slot here. And then you can just easily place a staff in the back. You know, if you want it to be nuts, maybe you can hang a flag here. Um, Skeletor, this looks like it's essentially a repaint of the figure we got before. Um, it's the exact same figure. The articulation's the same. The only thing different is the paint scheme. Um, he still has the spring-loaded waist, um, the spring-loaded, um, ab crunch. He, he can still hammer down. And I do have the first release figure with me, so let's pull it out real quick. So here is the first release of Skeletor. Yeah, so as you can see, identical figures. Uh, this one has more paint application. Um, but you're essentially getting the same thing. So don't think that, you, you know, this figure is going to be different in any way. Um, I like the idea of getting this figure. It's, you know, in your head, if you wanted to, you could completely, you could say it's a completely different character altogether. Um, you know, maybe it's Skeletor's half-brother or something crazy like that. But it's nice. Putting the figure on the bike is pretty easy and self-explanatory. Just drop them in. Um, uh, and then adjust the handlebars. And then his get him to grip it. And there we go. <laughs> so yeah, this is a really fun toy. A heavy, heavy emphasis on toy. Um, I love the fact that they made vehicles for this toy line. It's it's such it's it's so much more refreshing that that we're getting a motorcycle as opposed to just like Panthor itself. Um, I haven't completed watching the animated series on Netflix, so I'm not sure if this vehicle is actually in the the cartoon or not. But even if it, even if it wasn't, um, I think it's brilliant. Um, if you're a customizer out there. Oh, man, you could easily repaint this and make this thing look, it look even more amazing. It's nice. Don't sleep on this vehicle. For $19, it's a steal in my opinion. You get a nice big chunky vehicle. You get a repaint of Skeletor, and it's wild. All right.
I do have a... Let me get grab an Origins figure. Let me see if an Origins figure will fit on this. Okay, we have Origins He-Man. And let's put him on the bike. So this figure is a lot more articulated, so it'll be easier to like get him in the right position. So you could seat him in there, and you could adjust the handlebar, but the grip might be not. It'll, it'll work. It's not as, as clean a fit as I'd like, but you can still get him on there. So yeah, if you want. Uh, He-Man to like, you know, go cruising for a bruising. Uh, here you go. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad I went back and got the Skeletor uh, bike. It's really neat. Um, this really brings out the inner child in me. I love toys like this. All right, so if I had to rate this numerically, um, based on what it is, you know, it's, it's aimed at kids. It's a wonderful toy. Heavy emphasis on toy. Um, I think it's a 10, you know, for the value, uh, you know, it's $19. Uh, so you, you, you can equate it to this being 10 bucks for the figure, which is reasonable because the figures do retail for like nine ninety seven. And this bike, you can easily say is 10 bucks and it, you know, you're getting a lot of plastic for nine bucks here. So it's worth the price. So yeah, I highly recommend this. Um, even if you're not into this line of toys, I think it'd still make a great vehicle for your origins figures. You know, put trap jaw on it or something, especially since it kind of shares that putrid yellow or green. You know, it'd look great with trap jaw or even like merman or something. So, yeah, don't sleep on this vehicle. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Um, it's fun to play with. <laughs> and I'm really, really stoked on having it. And I do like this repaint, too. Like I said, I think it's, it's a nice change for Skeletor, you know. If you want, imagine it. It's a different character. You know, you could say this is like Skeletor's half brother, or like a rival, like sorcerer or something wacky like that. So go out there, find this guy. He's cool. He's cool as hell. All right, wrapping this up. Once again, my name is Lou. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad to have you aboard. If you are a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for checking out my videos on a regular basis or leaving comments. You know, I enjoy engaging with you people. It's always fun. So until the next video, uh, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most of all, be happy. All right, I'll talk to you soon.